All right, here you go, guys. Find a spot. We're gonna get about in. Ready? Can I do tension? Bow, courtesy. And position. Here we go. Soon creeps. I develop myself physically and mentally based on the mile high karate spirit. I will only fight to protect my life and the lives of others. I achieve my fullest potential developing knowledge, honesty, and strength. And let's go! Black belt excellent, sir. Country tension. Bow, courtesy. Here we go. Ready to place. Dog, jump place. Get moving. Here we go. Shake up those feet. Alright, here we go. First exercise. Find a little spot, find a dot, and then you're just going to jump side to side. Keep your feet together. Do another jump rope, Jules. Side to side. Get those feet moving. Side to side. Side to side. Side to side. There we go. There we go. Oh, those are big off, Cooper. There you go. There you go. Good. All right, now we're going to flip it. Front back, front back. Good. Keep on. Keep on. There you go, Brad. Side side. There you go. How does Brad have a piece of that All right, next one, ready? Crisscross. Crisscross. Let's see, crisscross. Moving, moving, moving. There you go. Get our blood pumping. Here we go. Next one, we're going to go into our horse stance. Now, this exercise is important that you stay in your horse stance, knees bent whole entire time. All right, first one. Arms up, full circles. It is also important that we keep our shoulders up here, not down here. So small circles up top. Small little mini circles. Good. And then go backwards. Back with a few minutes, so close. Yeah. Good, keep staying in that horse stance, knees bent. All right, now flying up and down. Up and down. Good. There you go, Brett. You can do this one with us. Good, and then in and out. Perfect. Keep those shoulders up, not down here, because then we're not doing anything. You gotta keep them up. So you feel it in your shoulders. Keep those knees bent so you feel it in your legs. Good, and back up. Here we go. Here's what we're gonna do. First one, we're gonna do, let's do six. So here's what we're gonna do hands up, squat, front, side. All right, squat front side, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Ready, and go. Squat, front, side, squat, front kick, side kick, squat, front, side, squat, front, side, squat, front, side. Squat, front, side. One more, squat, front, Side. Now check it out. Nice job, everyone. All right. Here we go. Next one. We do side lunges and add a front kick. So we're gonna lunge to the side. Throw a front kick. Let's see it. Make sure you keep your hands up. Practice those good habits. I'll tell you guys when to switch legs. Soaks on this leg. Go 
I'm going. Oh, I click, bro, click the wrong thing. Good. Ten more seconds. Ten more seconds. Good. And switch feet. The other leg's going to step out. Front kick. Good. Let's see you guys. There you go, Brett. There you go. Keep her going. Ten seconds. And time. Nice job. We're going to go through all those exercises again, but a little faster. Here we go. Ready? Hands up. Side to side. Go, go, go. Back to the top. Side to side. Stretch. 
So hands up. Put one foot in front of the other one. Like we're about to do a step behind side kick and then go down. There you go. And just hold it until I stay switch. Alright, and then switch feet. Oh, leg like in front now. Yeah, let's see it, guys. Let's see it. Good. All right, here we go. Feet to shoulder legs apart. We're going to swing from side to side. So, right, left. Right, left. Go ahead, guys. Here we go, back up. Take our right hand, bring it over. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Good. And then swing it over, other hand. All right, and then bring it back and over. Other side. Good. All right, back down. All right, guys, come to attention. Bow for the seat. Go grab a quick drink of water and then come back out, ready to go. Ready? And go! Grab that quick sit. the ceiling, Richard? Huh? Oh, uh, Jack can. Oh, he's got you beat. Then again, he's like two feet taller than you. Here you go. Alright, guys, let's come on back. Let's get ready. We're going to be going over our combos today. Back here, ready to go. Ready, come to attention. Bow courtesy. Alright, here, here we go. Set towards your left side. Aya! Alright, now, remember, my left is not your left. It's opposite, right? So, there you go, good. Emma, face the other direction. There you go, because it's opposite. Perfect, there we go. Alright, here we go. Number five. Here's our number five number. Number five and number six are laterals. That means we gotta move our front leg back first, all right? So the first two times, we're gonna go move by move, ready? First move, step back, bridge, hook kick, back fist, back punch, aya! Good, and then reset back facing towards the left. Good, and turn! Now on the other side now, right, right leg, step back, bridge, hook kick, Back fist, back punch, aya, and then reset. Nice job, and turn. Perfect, now here's what we're, we're gonna be doing, guys. We're gonna do this combination six more times. One, one, two, two, three, three. The first set, I want you guys to go move by move. Second set, go a little faster than the third set. I want you guys to go full speed, all right? I'm gonna do it with you guys, ready? And go, here we go, first set, move by move, step back, bridge. Hook kick, back fist, back punch, aya, reset, turn, step back, bridge, hook, back fist, back punch, reset, turn. Alright, this one's a little faster now. Just step back, bridge, 
hook, back twist, back punch, turn, step back, bridge, hook, back twist, back punch, reset, and then I turn. All right, next two are full speed. Ready? Go. I got. I got. And I reset and then turn. Nice job. All right. Perfect. I'll give you guys about 15 seconds to finish that one up. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. All right. Nice job. Here we go. Number six. Number six. Ready? This one's also lateral, so we're facing towards our left now. Number six. Six. Ready? We're going to step back. Round kick. Back fist. Back punch. Rich hand. Round kick. And then reset. I like to think this think of this as a round kick sandwich. So we got the round kicks are the buttons. And the meat in the middle is the back fist, back punch. Rich hand, alright? That's how I like to think of it. Ready? Turn on the other side. Here we go, ready? Step back. Round kick. Back fist. Back punch. Bridge hand. Front leg round kick. Reset. Nice job, and turn. All right, ready? Same thing. First two, move by move. Next two, medium. And then last two as fast as you can. Ready? And go. Round. Back fist. Back punch. Bridge hand. Round. Turn, step back. Round. Back fist. Back punch. Bridge hand. Round. Good, and then turn. Or medium. Step back. Round. One, two, three. Round. Turn. Step back. Round. One, two, three. Round. Good, and then turn. Full speed. Round. One, two, three. Round. Turn. Step back. Round. One, two, three. Round. Awesome job, guys. Okay, finish up, finish up. All right. Nice job. Everyone ready for number seven? Perfect. Let's do it. All right. So remember. Number seven. Number seven. It's not just a ridge. It's a fade ridge. So you got to move your body back. So ready? Fade. Ridge. Good. Hook kick. Good. Back punch. Aya. Good. And turn. On the other side. Ready? Fade. Ridge. Hook kick. Back punch. Aya. Good job, man. Turn. All right, remember, one, one, two, two, three, three. Slow, medium, fast. Ready? And go. Right, ridge. Hook. Back punch. Turn. Fade ridge. Hook. Back punch. Turn. Ridge. Hook. Back punch. Fade ridge. Hook. Back punch. Turn. Fast. Nice job. I'll give you guys 15 more seconds. Nice job. Jax is done. Nice job, dude. Um, the black stripe. Or the gray stripe. Wait, you have a question? Are we able to turn in the gray stripe still? Yes, that gray stripe does. You guys can either turn that in on Google Classroom or you guys can take a picture of that. Alright. Perfect. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Last combo, number eight. So ready, set to left side. Aya. Here we go. Number eight. Here we go. Remember, the first move is not just a standing side kick, it's retreating, retreating the side kick. So I'm going to step back. Let me scoot back so you guys can see my feet. Step back. Side. Now I'm doing a slide in. Hook. Round. Front punch. And then back punch. All right. Nice job. All right, turn. Let's do it on the other side. Ready? Step back. Side. And then slide in. Hook. Round. One, two. Front punch, back punch. Nice job, and turn. 
All right, remember, slow, medium, fast. Let's see it. And go. Step back. Side. Hook. Round. One, two. Turn. Step back. Side. Hook. Round. One, two. Turn. Medium speed. Side. Hook. Round. One, two. Step back. Side. Hook. Round. One, two. Nice job, guys. And turn. Last one. Side. One, two. Step back. Side. Hook. Round. One, two. Nice job, everyone. I'll give you guys 30 more seconds for that one if you haven't finished. So it's a little challenging. Gotta work on your balance. All right. There we go. Good. Nice job, everyone. Looks like we're done. Come do tension. Bow, courtesy. All right, I want you guys to find somewhere you guys can take a seat, but you guys can also see the camera as well, all right? We're going to be going over our book talk for today, which is the psychology of winning. So someone, everyone find a seat, Chris Cross Price House. Somewhere you guys can seat. Let's see. All right. All right. So we are going to be talking about the book right here that is in my hand, The Psychology of Winning. So, we're going to go over the first chapter, which is total self-awareness, or excuse me, positive self-awareness. Now, this one, sorry, this one is very important because all of our words of the month that we use here at the Karate School, all of them come from this book right here. So, if you guys want a deeper knowledge of our words of the month, this is the book to pick up. So we're going to be kind of, I'm going to go over kind of a review of what total, or excuse me, positive self-awareness is. I'm thinking of total, like the, the honesty and goals attainment, because that's the one this is. So, uh, so this one is all about being honest with yourself and those around you, and goals attainment, attaining your goals no matter how hard they are. That is what it is being said in the book. So... This is the, the the word of the month that we use for uh, total self, wait a minute, positive self-honesty? Yes, positive self-honesty and goals attainment. It's that one. So uh, this one talks about that in, in depth. So whatever you're doing, you're honest with yourself. No matter what is going on, you're honest with others. You don't use any lies at, in any, any, at all in any way. And no matter how challenging it is, you still push yourself, you still push yourself forward towards earning your goals. All right? The line that you guys might remember is, um, well, in here it says, I know who I am and where I'm going. In our Word of the Month, we use winning black belts know who they are and where they are going. Yeah, one ring a little, ring some bells. Yeah, it's because it came from the book. But crazy. All right, so, <laughs> mind-blowing. Yes, Jeff, mind-blowing. <laughs> so, uh, that is basically what this is talking about. I know who I am, and I know where I want to be. So whenever we're doing anything, we're not, like, just looking at the next goal, the one that's right in front of us. We're also looking at the next one and the next one, and we're looking at the bigger picture. What does it all mean? So, like, for you guys, that might be first-degree black belt, right? That's your end goal. That is the big one for now. Well, you you still have to get some of you still have to get your low red and your red and your high red. Those are the 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 kind of like short term goals. These are all the big ones. But if you just focus on the little ones, you're gonna lose sight of the big one, and you just it'll, your goal attainment will go down. All right, so stay focused now. Here's some stuff you guys can do to keep your total self-awareness or your positive self-awareness like out so you guys can keep, stay aware of everything. Number one, be more curious about everything in your world. Don't like, if you're working on schoolwork, don't think, oh, this is so boring. Think about it this way. Your schoolwork is making you smarter. It's making you better and it's going to prepare you for anything and everything when you get older. 
So the more you pay attention to your schoolwork right now, the better you're going to be in the future. The next one is break the daily and weekly routine you have set. So if you do the same thing over and over and over and over, well, that's boring. We don't want that to happen. So break that cycle. Find new things to do, whatever it may be. I don't do the same thing all the time. I'll, I'll when I get home, I'll like draw or I'll, uh, I'll read, I'll write. I might get on and play video games for like maybe an hour and then go to bed or whatever it may be. But I'm not doing the same thing over and over and over because then things start getting boring, okay? And the last one is make a list of I am's. So one list, there's gonna be two columns. One list is I am good at. The other list is I need improvement on. So those are your two columns that I want you to make. And that way, if you are good at something, you put it in this column. If you need improvement, put it in this column. Now, that could be for anything. I am good at math. I stink at writing. I am good at drawing. I stink at painting. Whatever it may be, it could be anything. But does that make sense? That is what I want you guys to do. Good. Boom. Hello. Welcome back. All right, guys, stand up. We're going to roll again. Here we go. Don't fall off. Oh, watch it. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, guys. Cut your attention. All right, I'm going to give you guys 10 seconds to just shake it out and get ready. However you need to. 10 seconds. Ready? And go. There you go. Good, Jackson. There you go, Richard. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is looking good. Nice job. All right, now time. All right, we're going back to it. All right, here we go. We're going to go over our combinations one more time on each side, super fast. We're going over our full speed, and then we're going to practice some chambers, right? Say bless, ayah. Here we go. Taekwondo, American Taekwondo. Number five, full speed. Ready, lateral. And go. Ayah. Good. And then. Reset, make sure you reset good at turn. All right, I'm not gonna do these ones with you. I wanna see what you guys can do. Ready? Numbers five again. And go! Step back, bridge, hook. Back this back, watch good. Nice job. All right, and turn. Here we go, number six. Remember, when you guys do this comp number, a little bit, a little bit, combinations five and six. When you guys turn, you guys should be doing the combo towards your camera, towards the front. Except for you, Jackson, you do it towards me, all right? Here we go. Number six, ready? And go! So step back, round, back fist, back punch, bridge hand, round, and then you'll reset. Good, and it's hard. Number six again, ready? And go! Step back, round, back fist, back punch, reach hand, round, and then reset. Good, and turn. Number seven, super fast, three moves, starting with that fade ridge, ready? And go! Fade ridge, hook kick, back punch. Good job. Perfect, and turn. On the other side now, number seven, go! Well, bam! Good, nice job. All right, and turn. Here we go, last one. Number eight, starting with that step back, side kick. Ready? And go. Step back, side, hook, round. One, two. Good. Nice job. When you're done, turn, face towards the other direction. You're getting ready to rock and roll. Number eight, one more time. Ready? And go. Hook, round. One, two. Nice job. All right, everyone, come to attention. Back for a seat. All right, I need you guys to find somewhere, something that will help you balance. Like when we're doing slow kicks, so I want you guys to be able to put your hand on something to help you with balance. Good. As long as it doesn't fall over, Cooper. I'm fine with that. All right, I'm going to get my weight master. Oh, my time. Thank you. All right. We're going to be practicing the chambers for the kicks in number eight and how they connect together.
together. How the chamber, re-chamber for one kick is a chamber for the next. All right, so we're just gonna pass that hands up. We're gonna be kicking with one leg, all right? So bring it up your side kick chamber, because that's the first kick, right? Good. Now, I'm gonna scoot back so you guys can see the whole kick. All right, ready? I'm gonna throw my side kick. First kick, side kick. Now, re-chamber. Your re-chamber is the chamber for your hook kick. Now throw your hook kick. Good, now watch. Keep it here. This is the ending chamber for your hook kick, and it's the chamber for your round kick, right? So you round kick. Boom, just like that. Set it down. Nice job. So here's what I want you guys to do. Five times on each side, using this balance. Do this super slow. Side, hook, round. That's one. Then you can put your foot down, all right? Two in each one. Ready? Five times on each leg. I'll do it with you guys. Ready? And go. Side. Make sure you re-chamber every single kick. Hook. Round. Nice job. You're good. You're good, Cooper. And then you set it down. Bring it up. Side. Hook. Round. Good. Let's do it. Keep on going. Side. Hook. Round. You go. I got one more time. Side. Hook. Round. Perfect. And then switch sides. I'm going to go to the other side as well. I'm still facing the front. Hook. Hook. Here we go. Ready? Get up. Side. Hook. Round. Then I set it down. That's one. Side. Hook. Round. That's two. Side. Hook. Round. That's three. Side. Hook. Round. That's four. Upside. Nice job, Jackson. Hook. Round. That's five for me. I need to stretch it out. You know, you know what's in that SpongeBob episode? Maybe. All right. Now, I'm not done with my weight master. I'm just going to move it to the side. Let's move it up so you guys can see. All right. For this next exercise, I'm going to bring it a little closer too. Who's going up? Who's going up? Okay. Okay. Now, if you guys don't have anything right now, that's perfectly okay. Well, after class, you guys can find something to use just like this. All right. It doesn't have to be a weight master. It can be a pillow. It can be your wall even. Just find something to do this with. Now, don't worry about these two top ones up here. This is level three in black belt. Do you guys see this, this rectangle here, this box? See how it lines up with my body? That's what I want you guys to do, okay? This square is your targeting for level two when you guys are sparring, right? So you guys can start at the shoulders down to the belt. See that? And then with this Y right here, this Y that we're making, is the target points. We have our shoulders, our chest, our solar plexus, and then our belly. That is our target areas, all right? So I want you, when you guys go home, well, you guys are home. When you guys are done with class, that's better. When you guys are done with class, find something and make this Y, all right? And make sure it lines up with your body, all right? Lila, don't measure off of your dad's body, okay? Because it's, it's like that. It doesn't work like that. All right. So here's what you guys are going to do. Set towards the front side. All right. And start bouncing like this barn. Remembering to keep our hands up and our belly buttons sideways. Good. All right. I want you guys to make, in the next, let's say, two minutes, I want you guys to make two four move combos. Okay? Two four move combos. I'm gonna make some rules. Alright? 
No jump kicks, obviously. No jump kicks, not yet. And then, I don't want only hands or only feet. I want you guys to mix it up, all right? Two forehand moves. Four move combos, that's what I'm gonna say. Ready, and go! Make sure you're bouncing the whole time. I want you guys to be creative. Use the combos that you know and mix them up. All right? I might go side hook, back fist, raise hand. There's a combination of some combinations I know. Good. Front punch, back punch, back to the ground, back punch. Good. Keep on going. Round, 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 punch. Good. See those combos. River, side, back fist, back punch, reach hand. Good. Good. One, two, three, four. Good. 30 seconds. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Good to see him. One, two, three, four. Good. All right, and time. Nice job, guys. Hopefully you have those two combos with four moves. Now, look at our little dummy here. There are four X's in our Waymaster, all right? So, if you guys don't have anything taped up right now, which I don't expect you to, just use your imagination to visualize in the air that box. And the one, two, three, four, all right? Now, those combos, those four moves, I want you guys to try to hit each move at one of the X's, all right? Each move at one of the X's, all right? So using your two combinations, let's start with our first combo. Just do one of the combos for 30 seconds. Each move hitting one of the X's, all right? I'll do it with you guys. Ready? Stay balanced the whole time, and go! One, two. Good. Try it out, try it out. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Good. Try it out, try it out, try it out. One, two, three, four. Good. Side, side. Good. All right. Now try that other combo. Try that other combo. Go ahead. Three, four. Good. Two, two, three, four. Keep on going. Keep on going. Good, and time. Now, we didn't really spend a lot of time on that today, and that's okay, because this is something that I want you guys to do while you're at home, all right? Just like in normal classes, you don't just take class and not practice at home. You all right, practice when class is over. You guys still need to practice, all right? So I want you guys to make something like this, either on your wall. If you do it on your wall, obviously, you got to practice your control so you don't make a hole in your wall, right? Make this X and practice hitting those four different spots, all right? Nice job. All right, we're going to do some active stretching, and then I'm going to show you guys your daily challenge. Then we're going to head out, all right? Back on the spot. All right, here we go. We're going to go down to butterfly stretch. Actually, we'll start there. Sit. Butterfly stretch. There you go. Make sure you're leading with your chest and not your head down. There you go. All right. Now, level two, we're going to fly with flap your wings just like this. And every time you flap your wings down, I want you to try to go further down, up, further down, up, further down, until your knees are flat on the ground. See it. There you go. There you go. All right, 
and time go all the way down. Try to reach as far as you can. Good, and stand up. All right, here we go. I got a challenge for you. It's a stretch and a balance challenge. You ready? Take one leg, grab it. Now, I want you guys to lean forward, put one hand out, just like this. There you go. Whoa. There you go, guys. Nice job, Cooper. Oh, no. Ryan down. Keep on going. Oh, I'm down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And switch. Nice job. Hey, black belts, we're going to start in like three minutes. All the way down. Other leg, level two. Nice job. Good. <coughs> job and back down. Check it out. All right. Level two. New black belts. Sneak in. You guys get a sneak peek of your daily challenge. All right. Now you're probably asking, Mr. Turson, why do you have the vacuum? Your daily challenge is to take a picture of you guys cleaning something in the house while doing a karate move. For example, you guys could be vacuuming while you're doing a sidekick, right? You can be just like this. Alright, or you guys can be in a horse dance while vacuuming. Whatever you want to do. Or you can be doing dishes while holding out front kick. Whatever you guys want to do, take a picture of that and send it either to Facebook or email us and you guys will get that right strike for that, all right? Perfect. Here we go, level two. We're gonna get bowed out, so come to your attention. Good bow, courtesy. Good, hands right back. And black belt creed. As a dedicated student of the martial arts, I live my life by the principles of black belt. Modesty, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and dominant spirit, sir. Live proposition, sir. My hype karate is the best, sir. Asa. All right, level two, you guys are dismissed. Black belts, we're in certain like 